20th Extraordinary Summit of the East African Community Heads of State. Today, 4th February 2023, Bujumbura, Republic of Burundi. The East African Community Heads of State, Their Excellencies Everesti Daishmiye, the Chair of the East African Community and the President of the Republic of Burundi, His Excellency Yorika Guta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, Her Excellency Dr. Samia Solo Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, His Excellency Felix Sheshikedi Shilombo, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, His Excellency Dr. William Samui Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya, and Honorable Deng, representing His Excellency President Sava Kiel, President of the Republic of South Sudan, held today their 20th extraordinary summit of the East African Heads of State here in Bujibura, in Burundi, to evaluate the current security situation in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. They made some decisions, and one, the summit received reports on the current security situation in the Eastern DRC from the facilitator of the East African-led Nairobi process and the force commander of the East African Community Regional Force. Two, the summit observed that the security situation in Eastern DRC is a regional matter and not a matter of one or two countries that can only be sustainably resolved through a political process and it should be heightened so that it can enhance dialogue among all the stakeholders. The heads of state directed that political process be strengthened and escalated to involve all stakeholders. The heads of state directed also as follows. One, there must be immediate ceasefire by all political parties. Two, the withdrawal, including all foreign armed groups and directed the chief of defense forces of all the partner states of the East African community to meet urgently within the next one week and set new timelines for the withdrawal and recommend appropriate deployment matrix in different parts of Eastern DRC. And they also discussed that this process must be accompanied by dialogue. So it is first secession, ceasefire, and then followed by withdrawal, and then dialogue. And any violations of this must be reported immediately to the chairperson of the, of the summit for immediate consultations with members of the summit. Next is the summit directed all troops contributing countries in East Africa to immediately deploy their troops and urge the Democratic Republic of Congo to facilitate the deployment, particularly of the Republic of South Sudan and Republic of Uganda, who have been waiting for clearance from DRC. The heads of state reiterated their decisions at the high level consultative meetings in the past, and particularly during, their, during the Rwanda process and also during their Shama Sheikh consultations. And they commended the facilitator for the work well done and also commended the international community for their political and also financial support. And they commended the Republic of Angola and the Republic of Senegal for the financial commitments and support they have extended. The, sum, the summit also noted with appreciation the financial contributions by the Republic of Kenya and the United Republic of Tanzania and thanked the Republic of Rwanda and the Republic of Uganda for their commitment to contribute financially to the fees process. 
Next, the heads of state called upon all parties to respect and implement all the summit decisions and agreed upon themselves that any again violations should be reported immediately and the summit now will take charge of this process led by the chair of the, of the summit, His Excellency Evariste Dashmeyer, who has now an additional responsibility to oversee the process, coordinate the process, and ensure that he follows the process closely and he reports regularly to the members of the summit. The summit reiterated its call to all parties in Eastern DRC to de-escalate tensions and to use established regional, continental, and international mechanisms to resolve any disputes in the implementation of peace in Eastern DRC. The summit reiterated the need for implementation of the decision and directive of the 22nd summit of the ESC heads of state held in Arusha in July and it directed all local armed groups in Eastern DRC to embrace dialogue, lay down their arms, and join the political process as a path towards disarmament and the creation of an enabling environment for participation in the upcoming processes, democratic processes. And finally, the summit heads of state thanked His Excellency Evarish Dashme, President of the Republic of Burundi, and the chairperson of the summit of the East African Community Heads of State for his continued engagement and commitment towards supporting the people of East Africa and particularly ensuring that peace prevails in the Eastern DRC. Done today, the 4th of February, 2023, Bujubura in the Republic of Burundi.